What is up guys, Awesome Nerd Joe here. Today we're opening another booster box here for Sun and Moon Guardians Rising. Um, so of course this was the last box in the set that I got from trading in all the other um, extra bulk Pokemon cards I got. So it's the Sun and Moon Guardians Rising one. So we're going to do like we did in the um, second uh, Burning Shadow set. So we're just going to um, take it apart and then uh, kind of like just go through each one real like each thing real quick. Here, so just open it up and then so there's the code and so let's see what we get from each one so we got a hunch crow and a sharpedo so we'll go ahead and of course set all of the rare cards aside so just like I said try and move through this as quick as possible um, so we know we got a white code there so let's see what we get we got a Jigmo and a Comfy as a rare. And then, all, of course, all the other cards. Have to move these over here. Let's try and get everything all nice, set up, and organized. So, let's hopefully we get some awesome um, uh, GX cards out of this. Um, I don't remember what I need out of this. We got a Choice Band and a Heliolisk as our rares. Like I said, I can't remember exactly what it is that I need GX-wise, um, but I know obviously I don't have a whole lot. Um, let's see, what do we get? We got a, ooh, a Rayquaza, Reverse Hollow, and a Low and Sand Slash as a rare. So nothing super great yet. Let's see, there's the code again. Let's see, this could this one be a lucky one? We got a Max Potion and a Blissey. A full art, or a full art, a hollow blissey. Daily bird. There's the code. Let's see what we get. We got a Mudsdale a reverse hull and a whale lord as our rare. Come on, GX. Where are you hiding at? There's the code. We're going to get one out of here. We got a Lone Graveler's Reverse Hollow. Oh, oh, and then we got a Rainbow Rare Full Art Toxapex. That's awesome. I'm pretty sure I don't have this, but you never know. But that looks awesome. I love the Rainbow Rares. They're so cool. So that's an awesome first card we got there. So go ahead and just lay that one up there in the front. I'll get my cards all mixed up here. There's the code. Go with, oh, I guess the past we got a Trubbish and an Oracorio as our um, reverse hollow and rare. There's another code. Let's see, we got a Whale Lord reverse hollow and a Turdinator as our rare. Come on, cards open up. There we go. So there's the code, and we got a nose pass and a probe pass. Kind of, that's funny. They go together. So that was a um, kind of a cool set how they went together. There's the code. Uh, it looks like we got a GX out of this one. So we got a Huck, um, Huckamo Reverse Hollow and a Vicavolt GX, which. Once again, I feel like I have this, but I probably don't, so um, you never know. But that is really cool. Just a regular old um, Vickable GX. Like I said, I wish I could remember what cards I have and don't have. There's the code. So I know if I have that Vickable. Right. So we got a Mudbray Reverse Hollow and a Politoed as our rare. Hollow rare. So almost halfway through the set, there's a code. What do we get? A Pangoro as a reverse hollow and a Salazzle as our rare. I can't even remember what GXs you can get from this set anymore. Let's see, we have a Energy Lotto as our reverse hollow and a Lily Lilligant. Like I said, I forget everything about this set already. Like, I remember, like, the, um, the uh, trainer cards. Oops. There's the code. 
I remember the trainer cards and like obviously the look of all of these cards. So we got Talon Flame and an Oricorio. But I don't remember really any of the GXs or the rares. We got a white code there. See if we get a GX out of this set or some sort of rare. Got a multi switch and a minor or minor, whatever you call it. One more after this, and then we're halfway through. So, hopefully, the second half will unload a bunch of this. So we got a minor and a swallow as our reverse and rare. So, it's our last set of the first half. There's the code. Let's see, hopefully we got a Slowbro and a Gothitelle. Nothing. So, as I said, hopefully in the next set we're going to move all this stuff around, get everything organized all back up, get nice, neat stacks going here, and then we move on to the second half. So, so we got two, so we should hopefully get at least four more rares. Um, like, or whatever we call them, Ultra Rares, um, the GXs and whatnot. So we got a Gothitel, or Gothita, and a Garbodor. Next up. Come on. There's the code, we got a white code, so hopefully this will be a GX. We got a Villanux Reverse Hollow. Oh, oh, we got a Tapu Koko GX. Full art. That is awesome because one, I'm pretty sure I never got the Tapu Coco from this set. So that's awesome that I finally did get one and then it's a full art. That looks so awesome. I love the full arts. So we got two um, above normal rares because they're not just the normal GX. So we got the full art Toxapex and the Tapu Coco. So that's awesome. So we're doing, in my opinion, at least really good so far. There's the code. See what we got this time. We got a Barbaroach and an Absol. Absol is pretty cool. I remember it from years ago, probably when it first came out. I had a toy of it. There's the code. I don't know what happened to it now though. But we got Watchhog or Watchhog and Lunala. Enhanced hammer. Bring down the hammer. Oh, it's a chancy. There's the code. It's a white code. Let's hope for something good. We got a Murkrow as our first hole. Oh, <laughs> and a Full Art How. Which normally I would be super excited to get this, but um, I got a Full Art from the set. I don't know. I want to say it was How in the first place, but um, since the set is passed on to the next one, when they um, like new ones start to come out, I go ahead and buy all the cards. So I bought all the Full Art trainers. So that's a new one, or another one that I got there. Of a, did I pull the other card out? Yeah. So I got now two hows. Probably actually had more than that. I can't remember. But I've got a little cousin I give all the extra cards to like that. So he'll hopefully enjoy that. We got a Probo Pass and a Talon Flame. Yeah, I just do like a collection of all the cards. I don't obviously play because I don't have people to play with. So I just collect all of the cards, and I collect like one of each card. So I had energy recycle and a wish cash. Yeah, I collect one of each, so I already have a how, obviously, like that, so I don't need another one. Here's the code. Let's hopefully see what we get. We got a Gumi Reverse Hollow and a Victory Bell, which is one of my... Top Pokemon, not top favorite, but I don't know, I really like it all. I have a lot of Pokemon I like. I'm a huge fan of grass Pokemon, and um, so a lot of grass Pokemon are my favorite, and, or what I prefer. We got Rescue Shredcher and an Oracurio, and Victory Bell is one of those that I like the set of. I like Bell Sprout, Weeping Bell, Victory Bell, the whole set. Oh, it looks like we got a GX in this one coming out. Can see the shininess. See our first, we got a Machop and a Kamo, which again I can't remember if I have this or not. I feel like I do because it looks very familiar. But if I don't, I know I need it because um, I remember the other stuff. 
for it. So hopefully I don't have that, but obviously I will find out once I'm done with the video. So we got another GX there. So we got the white code. Could this be another GX? It kind of looks like possibly. We got a Gothi um yeah, Gothita reverse hollow. Oh, and there we got the regular Tapu Coco. So there we got both, um, or two versions, not both, because there should be at least another version, Tapu Coco. So we got those two, so that is awesome. Didn't have any. So now I got two different versions, and since they are two different versions, I keep one of each version. So that is awesome. We got another code there. I think that's probably, yeah, we got six, so we pretty much hit our um, thing. So we got a reverse absol and a foil or hollow. I'm used to foil because when I was a kid, they were called foil. But hollow Mimikyu. I don't know if they're still called foils. Um, if you do, let me know down in the comments if um, cards are still called foils or not. I've always heard them called hollows now, so I'm not sure. But yeah, when I was around with Gen 1, they were always called um, hollow or foils. So we got a reverse hollow Heliolisk and a Haunch Crow as a rare Aqua Patch. Let's hope and l be lucky that if we can possibly get another GX or something. We got a Pancham and a Pangora. There we go. Once again, two cards that go together as a reverse hollow and a rare. Our wind pod. There's the code. Let's see, we got Fletchender and Oracorio. And we got a few more packs left here. Dwindling down. Once again, hoping to get another um, GX of some sort, but I doubt it. We got a Beldum and a Sharpedo. One pack left after this one. Can we get lucky, lucky duckies? Not from this one. Let's see what do we get? We got a ooh a reverse hall Solgaleo and a Trevenant as a rare. And our last pack with the low and nine tails on it. Let's hope for good luck. Oh, do the Pokemon card dance. Let's see. Of course, the code will give it away. What is it? Oh, it's a green one. So there's the code, so we're not going to get another one. Not going to be above the average. We got an Enhanced Hammer and a Rayquaza. So that is all of the cards that we got out of this. So let's pick all these up and look at them. So of course, starting out going with whatever was on top here. We got our Tapu Koko again on the card. I'm, at least I'm pretty sure I don't have this. Um, I know I bought in like, the um, boxes that you get the... Um, promo cards and stuff and I think some other version but I don't know if I have this but if I do obviously the cassette will go to my little cousin then we got a Kamo again I can't remember if I have this or not it looks familiar but I'm not exactly sure but it, again if not it's another GX then we got a How which I fortunately I did get either through opening in the first set or um, buying it online a Vicavolt again can't remember if I've got this before or not then we got our Toxapex GX Rainbow Rare, which looks awesome. It's hard to see Toxapex in there, but I love it. I recently, um, so I've recorded all the Sun and Moon Pokemon episodes um, on whatever channel they're on. And so I've been going through watching them, and of course I'm really far behind. But I watched the episode where it's got um, Marini, and it um, like falls in love with uh, James from Team Rocket because it turns inside out, so like its hair here turns inside out and like clamps on top of his head and with all the poison things stings him and stuff and when he turns off his hair looks like uh, Marini and then his like skin's all purple and so Marini like falls in love with him and becomes his po um, Pokemon so that's cool and then we got the Tapu Koko GX which I know definitely I don't have this and this is the full art and I love the whole like um, orange looks kind of like a orangish yellow possibly there in the background but it just looks so cool there and that is awesome and so those are our six rares that we got out of this box. Not too bad. Again, I think some of these cards are new, but I can't remember. Like, I I feel they are new, and so I'm excited about that. But then I'm afraid we'll look and have most of those. But either way, it's still awesome. So that's the 
it for the unboxing of this Sun and Moon Guardians Rising booster box. Um, so be sure to leave any comments you have down below. Let me know if you thought these cards were good, if um, this was a good box or not. Um, let me know anything, you know, what your favorite Pokemon or out of the rares were, like which one you think is better for playing and everything. But do all that. Hit, hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe, especially to help us out to grow and um, to see more Pokemon card unboxings. Every time a new set comes out, I open them. Um, so do all that, and we'll see you next time.